All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's talk about Karen Ego. Who is Karen Ego? Um, she's a reality star. Hold on one second. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I put this on the screen. Chinye, welcome. I see you, Chinye, my G. Welcome. How was your day? I hope you had a good day today. Welcome, welcome. Hit the like button, share, subscribe as you're coming in. So there's a report here by a Karen Ego. Uh, uh, it says, I've been sexually hurt. Hold my husband responsible if anything happens. Reality TV star, Karen Ego. Who is Karen Ego? Uh, apparently, she's. Uh, I don't watch BBN because I don't want to be snooping around and watching reality TV shows. Uh, honestly, frankly, I don't have time. But anyway, this news is kind of relevant to what we talk about here. As you know, we kind of like extract real life relationships, lessons from trendy topics, right? So um, she's the former Big Brother uh, Africa winner. Her name is Karen Ego. Um, let me see here. So she has a lot going on. Oh my God, this is crazy. How old is she? Let me see. Okay, don't worry, I'll read the report to you. Okay, so there's a report here on NigerianNews.com. Uh, winner of the 2011 Big Brother Africa, Karen Ego, and her husband, Yaroslav Rakos, that sounds like a Russian name, are going through divorce. The reality TV star made this known in a post via Twitter on Tuesday. Uh, sorry, via X on Tuesday. Niger News recalls that Karen and her husband dated for nine years before tying the knot. In December 2014, in Just Plateau State, they dated for nine years before tying the knot. Hmm. So 2024, we're talking about. So we're talking about about 19 years ago now, right? All right. So in the social media post, Karen revealed that she had been sexually and physically hurt, stressing that her husband should be held responsible if anything happens to her. I'm going through a divorce with my husband. Wait. Uh, she also said is attempting to take their children away claiming that she's mentally sick mm, that's sad I'm, I'm going through uh i'm going through a divorce with my husband i've been homeless for a year and i've been hurt sexually and physically so if anything happens ask and hold the man who brought me to a country where and i know no one he's trying to take children away by saying i'm mentally sick god almighty bless nigeria and africa my heart pray for your daughter of the soil i've been through so much this past year please african pray for my children and in case you don't hear from me again know that i've been paid i've been killed i'm not sick mentally and don't do drugs okay just because you don't do drugs doesn't mean you're not sick mentally though it doesn't mean you're not sick mentally though but oh god welcome jim jim i see you jim jim welcome it doesn't mean you're not mentally here but i think there's another video let me see if i can find that video real quick there's another video that she released earlier on today let's see if i can find it uh, let's see um uh, no, no 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 let's get back let's see uh Where is the video? I don't have it, I guess. Okay, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, where, where are you? Oh, I don't have the video. Okay, let me see if I can find it on Linda EKG blog. Maybe it can give us a little bit more. It can give you guys a little bit more context to what she's dealing with. Okay, I found it. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Listen to this. Listen in. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Karen Ego, and this is still my shelter. This is my bed. I woke up this morning. A lot of people are saying I'm, it's not me again. I'm proving that it's me. And indeed, I am homeless. And I woke up in a homeless shelter. I've been here for more than one year. And this is my fourth, third chapter. I've been going up and down from shelter to shelter. This is my drawer, yeah, my clothes. Uh, when I left home, I didn't have any clothes. The police took me 
which uh, the, the, my clothes are still holding. I have nothing. Mm. This is all I have. So I put the same clothes that I have from yesterday, and I'm doing the video to show you guys. Mm. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for your love and support. I thank you guys very much for being, you know, uh, you showing your love and your care. Uh, please just uh, help me out, donate to the GoFundMe that I posted. So she's raising also, GoFundMe now. Please, uh, be very kind in your judgment and your um, your judgment and your comments that you post. Uh, if it's not me, I wouldn't come out. Remember, I haven't posted for one year, and this is my first time doing all of this. I feel kind of, uh, you know, embarrassed doing this, but when it comes to my children, I'll do anything for them. So hmm. Thank you guys. It is me. Please support me with whatever you can so I can get out there, get a place, get legal fees. Just help me out. And as you do this, I just want to thank you in advance and may God bless all of you, the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Wow. All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is... All right. They there you have it. I don't know what to say to that. This is heartbreaking, to say the least, you know. But uh, she's been living in a homeless shelter for a year. She said they're trying to take her children away from her. The fact that you live in a homeless shelter, frankly, if that guy is living better, yeah, he has a good chance to take the ch children away from, from her, you know. It's kind of sad. Let me see here. Anyway, uh, she also said she's not mentally healed. Who knows? She needs to be assessed. You know, she needs to be assessed. But that news is out there. Um, she says she's not on drugs. <clears throat> that she's not mentally healed. I don't know. Her name is Karen Ego. She's uh, she's the winner of a uh, Big Brother Niger back in 2011. No condition is permanent let's let's operate in life with all types of humility also the idea he said he's in the middle of nowhere somebody came to marry her and took her into another country entirely mm, that's sad anyway i just wanted to give her a story a little bit of coverage she has a she has a she has a gofundme thing out there so just search for it you should see more stories about it i think she's trying to raise some money all right just search for it all right with that being said oh lord we have uh we have a story today don't we we do have a story today let me open open this uh -huh. today we're talking about we're gonna dive in straight into fred amata's story okay so do me a favor hit the like button right now let's ping everybody else into the room Share, 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 share. All right, take care of your mental health, folks. If your relationship is not working out, take a couple of steps back. Okay, take some time off. It's okay. Trust me. Okay, they'll be here when you come back. But make sure you're taking care of yourself. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, Prestige fam, show some love to the video. Hit, like, subscribe, and share. Are you in Europe, America, and struggling your relationship? From argument to abuse and trust issues, we're here to help. Lola and I founded uh, Prestige Marriage Academy to transform your story. With 20 years of friendship, 17 years of marriage, experience with navigating the ups and downs of marriage, and personalized coaching, includes 24 7 support ignorance is expensive whatsapp us at plus one seven three two three oh five eight five seven seven to book a free discovery session today and take charge now don't wing it join us in creating the love life you, you deserve, deserve.